hi guys welcome to redefined gospel youtube channel where we are thriving in christ this channel seeks to link the word of god to the contemporary times and ultimately ensure that we are thriving in christ in addition to share sharing in addition to sharing faith-based content i normally share about my law school journey and my legal career you know in short my legal career and i also share about uh, lifestyle issues about personal development here and there so you can see this channel is all about faith law and lifestyle so interest if you're interested in all that kind of content kindly do subscribe hit on the red button read and subscribe and then click on the bell that will appear and click on the option all so you get all post notifications each time i upload if you are a returning viewer who has not subscribed subscribe so please subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe thank you so much for clicking on this video and i really hope you learn you enjoy and you get from you know what you desire to get from the title based off the title of this video so without further ado let's get straight right into today's video in today's video i share something that has been long long overdue <laughs> like since last year November when I finished my oral exams at the Kenya School of Law. I already had DMs on that that day. Can we do a video on oral exams? I was like, let's wait for the results. And then I don't know what happened. I was to share it actually. Sometimes in me or something i don't know but it has been a roller coaster the teachers club oh we're doing exam oh we're not doing so oh no the exams have come so i'm here finally and i know for people who joined kenya school of law after us you've not yet done your oral exams although some tips may apply to someone to, who has not even started first term but i know that there are a number of tips actually a number of tips that will apply to you and that will be relevant to you so not to worry do not worry do not be dismayed <laughs> all right so i want to share about my oral exams experience as i share about tips to ensure you excel in your oral exams and i have to give a disclaimer this is my own experience experiences are different and secondly you may do all these tips and then and i'm going to talk about it and something happens and you don't really get the best of marks so and this is not a blueprint don't do all these things and then after the results come you're up on my email and you can always reach me on my email by the way plug it's not a shameless plug it's my channel <laughs> but you can always email me at info 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 at njorogean.co.ke yeah seeing that just makes me feel very professional <laughs> But I'm saying if you do all those things and you're up there on info at and you're like, what happened? And then you're like, you know, you know, I did all these things. No, I'm not saying it's a blueprint, but it's a guide. And um, if you do it and it helps you well and good, that's that's my joy. Okay. And it really prepares your mind actually to know what what is really ahead of you. Anyway, so for those of you who are maybe you in law school, you're still in university, so you don't know what are oral exams, or you're about to join Kenya School of Law, you have heard about this oral exam, but you don't really understand. You could also be at the Kenya School of Law and you're hearing oral exams, and there are a lot of information left, right, center. Let me start by um demystifying what is an oral exams or just defining what is an oral exams. So when you get into the Kenya School of Law, there are three sets of uh assessments that you have number one you'll have your project work it's normally given at the end of first term towards second term and and even as you enter the kenya school of law you're put in a group of eight to twelve i think eight to twelve people who you do project work with project work is basically you're given as not assignments but you're given questions that you need to tackle across all the nine units and it's normally marked out of 20 marks and then secondly you do your oral exams uh which is 20 marks and then finally you do the uh cle the council uh for legal education is it of legal education for legal education okay cle exams the bar exams you do and it's normally out of 60 so 20 plus 20 plus 60 is 100 marks so and uh for you to pass then you need to get 50 out of 100 your total for oral project work and the bar exams so i'm talking about oral exams right now i already did a video on how to excel your project work and i'm going to link it down below and it will on the description it will be the on the description 
description box and I have a number of Kenya School of Law videos. I am going to link the playlist on a pinned comment and on the description box. But an oral exam is whereby you go before a panel of two panelists who are normally lecturers at the Kenya School of Law, not necessarily lecturers that are teaching your particular class. You may be lucky to get, you know, lucky or not, to get uh, someone who's teaching your particular class. But you go before a panelist, two people, two panelists before them, and they ask you questions. And the duration is 10 minutes. So within 10 minutes, they, they have a criteria that they use. I should have already looked for the criteria and downloaded it, but... I did but i know what they look at is first of all your knowledge of the law how you analyze the law um they look at your confidence your how you you're presenting yourself they look at your um they look at how you have dressed and you know cumulatively the marks become 20 marks but when you get you know depending when you get uh, to the kenya school of law when you're being briefed you'll be told how much is for how how many marks are for each of the points or of each of the areas of assessment really and um i don't know uh, now this is me thinking this is not something that i know for a fact but i think the goal is normally to look at whether you are not really the most knowledgeable person but whether you're able to put your points across whether you're able to explain your point because that's the whole essence when you're getting admitted and you're going before court then the court has to understand what your point is they have to um and you have to be very uh you have to be very clear you you know clarity and all that so that's basically oral exams and they normally occur at the end of second term and you um you normally given the room you'll be in and you you ideally you shouldn't know who is your panelist until you get into the room and i will tell you why i'm saying ideally um so i'm going i think that was the first thing i was to do i have my notes over here but that's okay so you focus let me do a, a youtuber thing <laughs> i try to focus but yeah these are the i'm using some notes here so i was to talk about what it entails and yeah and all that so how tips i'll, I'll start with tips that i did before and then i'll talk about my experience and then i'll talk about the aftermath and then yeah and then we'll close the video so the very first thing to note is that you have to understand that you will go into a room and you will be asked where have you reached in your class so in your class so there are some panelists that will ask you some panelists won't ask you they will go straight into asking you the questions ideally they should ask you so the goal here because you don't know who you will be before the goal here is to make sure you have a good grasp of the first term and the second term course content and how do you ensure that how do you gauge whether you have a good grasp once you have studied go to your topic objectives maybe the topic objectives is saying by the end of this lesson the student should have understood maybe what is an overriding objective should have understood the legal basis of the overriding objective in civil procedure so then you have to be at a place where you have a good grasp of your first term and your second term work that's the first thing you know at least just have a very good grasp of it from in all the nine units and in addition to that how do you ensure that you ensure that by reading from day one reading from day one you cannot just you know tomorrow is your exam and you're taking all the books and you want to get to grasp all the things because our exams sometimes yes they test broad concepts but it is in the details that you ask questions um knowing you know getting to know the landmark cases in a topic if for instance you're talking about marketing and advertising in professional ethics when you think about it that's a bad term topic but you think about it you're thinking about the Mwanza case so then it is really important to be at a place where you have a good grasp of first term and second term work so since day one make short notes those are the short notes that you will be revising even as you wait for your oral exams so that's the first go study from the word go the preparation for oral exams starts from the moment you land at the kenya school of law number two attend classes attend classes and 
attend attentively don't just attend right now people are logging in don't just log in just to log in listen to what the lecturers are emphasizing talk to your friends about what did the lecturer you know just have informal conversations about what the lecturer is emphasizing on because those things might appear as questions in your oral exams so the lecturer may be there and 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 is like oh uh, when do pleadings close uh, which order is that and all that and insist so much you may go to an oral exam and they ask you when do pleadings close and it helps that you know the specific order the lecturer still insists insists what can make someone strike out a pleading order to rule 15 and then you're like and this is the these are the pointers so then if you know the pointers mark those pointers and if possible have a separate book where you write possible oral exams questions that are being said in class that way you have an upper edge as opposed to you're not attending class you're just reading everything so you don't even know what to emphasize on you don't know what general is normally asked so it is important to attend class attentively and get those hints from the lecturers what are they insisting on what are they saying because these are the same lecturers who will be in your panels i will be your panelists yes and then the other thing number three is make the news your friend i'm not so good at that but i had to <laughs> press on and keep up read the news read newspapers and for me i used to use a friend of mine who is really usually up to date and will ask oh what's what's happening what's happening in any that i may know that's when bbi was coming up though i don't know if people got questions for bbi but now right now this is already a live case so i don't know if they will still ask that but there are things happening in the news for instance there are issues to do with uh, maybe murders that have been happening what can you deduce watch news f with a legal eye so you're watching a murder case and all that you're not watching like oh the society may have because no you're thinking about um issues to do with the investigation so you're thinking about you know being watching the news from a legal eye and understanding what's happening in the news it would be really great if you ask something that you know happened in the news and you already have an analysis of the legal issues that are emerging what are the possible avenues what are the possible solutions and thinking through that so make time to watch news and to um and to and also to consult from people what is happening what's up what are the latest cases that are happening there's a landmark decision in this and in line with that you really have to be up to date into cases that are very that are happening like right now uh there's an um i wouldn't is it an advisory i think it's an advisory correct me if i'm wrong but an advisory of them by the supreme court of what really the muruate to case was so read it critique it and have a critic of that so that then when you ask that it will be like at the top of your you like this 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 and this happens you have had jsc interviews for for chief justices so then thinking through how is that how does that relate to what you are studying how does that relate to professional ethics and just watching what is happening around around you and watch and looking at it from a legal perspective and having a legal eye for that also they usually lists that go around there i think that's my fourth point but they're usually uh questions that go around that have been asked in previous years use that but don't use that to study already at this point you've already made your short notes you've been studying you've been attending class you know the pointers so then you're looking at the oral exams questions to test yourself so you can take an oral exam questions and and uh assume you have been given oh when do pleadings close the same uh in order this and through this the pleadings close when number one this and this happens just use them to practice to vocalize what you've learned use them for that reason as opposed to taking them and studying with them for me that's an approach i don't know probably there's someone who took that approach and it worked for them well and good but for me i would insist start from studying you know for term one and term two work and you know that will really come in handy when you get to term three and all that you need to study or write notes on is term three work and pro possibly once you get the break after oral exams just take like a week break and then before even you start term three you start on the term three work that way the pressure um during the bar exams will be reduced for you it would be at zero i can tell you that it won't be at zero but it will be reduced 
Now the other thing is have a schedule. Now once uh, you have been told your oral exams will be at this week. For me, my oral exams were in the first week on Wednesday and then I really, I was like, at first I was like, oh, first week and we had just submitted our project work. But for me, I loved, <laughs> I loved being in first week. For, you know, for the reason that the pressure, you and all that. But once the, once that has happened, I'm going to record my screen and probably I'll place it here. I had a reading schedule where I had said these are the topics that I have not read. Study this hour. I'm going to divide them. And then this is how I'm going to study this and study this and study that. You're able to have a very great study schedule. You've already you have studied some things. So you're like, this is I need clarification on this. I have clar I need clarification of this. And I had sessions where I'm saying this session is for active recall. This session is where I sit down and I go I take the course outline and I try to answer each topic objective. So this is the topic objective. I answer it. I answer it. So I have active recall sessions. So I'm not just reading and reading and reading, but I'm using the active recall technique. I talked about law school study techniques. I'm going to link it here and down below. I'll have a whole playlist on law school videos. So you can go and watch about the various techniques, law school study techniques that you can employ. Is it active recall? Is it space repetition? Those, you know, you can, you can do all that. So this is how it looked like. I divided it into times. So that's my oral exam schedule. So 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And so on and so forth, as you can see. And then the unit, the topics that I had placed here, yeah, topics that I had not touched or I was not confident with. But as you can see, they had sections for active recall for looking at the whole course outline from first term to second term. And then this was in the last week towards my oral exams and I had already employed the tip that I've already talked about. Then I had to stop on Sunday, then on Sunday, then re-strategize and look at now what do I need to look at on Monday and Tuesday even as I, wa I waited for my uh, oral exams on Wednesday. So this is how my oral exams schedule for the last week looked like. So I hope it helps. The other thing is you can have small group discussions. We had a small group discussions and what we used to do at the end of the day as people study, study, at the end of the day in the evening we sit down and people brainstorm, ask questions. Oh, I came across this, what is this? And you know, that really helped to understand, um, to get a wider view and to be like, oh, I've not checked this area, I've not checked this area. And that really helped me personally when it came to current affairs because I remember it's something that I was asked about watching brief and um one of the cases uh there was there's a case i think lendrix was or something of that sort it was a case that a friend of mine told me in the context of a group discussion i was like oh so and then he he actually did a voice note for me and that was a question i was asked about watching brief and they had the waswa case so that was great um so have small groups and then and remember me saying uh that um <laughs> ideally you shouldn't know your panelists the people who used to form like once you told you in um this day panel this morning or panel this afternoon then they form whatsapp group so that the first person who goes in then comes i don't know if i should be saying this on the internet okay but the first person who comes in and i remember there's a youtuber who also said this so to kishiko to but there are whatsapp groups that are formed and somehow when someone gets out of the panel, they can know that, oh, this and this person is in the panel and all that. For me personally, and this is me personally, I decided not to enter those groups. I decided not even to bother who's in my panel. So then I would not have a very closed mind because I, I realize when you know that so-and-so is in your panel, you'll think of all the questions of that person's area so probably that person is teaching legal practice management and, is, and the other person is teaching criminal litigation so it closes your mind for me i knew that it would throw me off balance so i didn't know until um we were left two in the room like everyone went i was the second no i was actually the last person in our room and the second last person was there and, and the person was like hi i think people in our room are really staying like we are already two in the other rooms people have already been finished i was in the morning session and then i and was like hey those nini then i got curious and i was like oh who are they and, and then i knew this and this person and in relation to that even before i share my experience um if in class if you are able to answer questions in class you never know 
uh, you may go before someone who actually teaches you and actually recognizes you from you participating in class and trust you me we are all human beings there is you know that person will will first of all have a perspective of you that you know what you're doing and you understand what you're doing and it becomes an easy process for you so if you can answer questions in class do answer them do answer questions in class so <laughs> so as regards my so as regards my experience my realism uh, i was looking at myself but as regard uh, to my own experience when it comes to the oral exams i was in the first week and we had just finished project work and i was really i was really tired <laughs> from the, the intensity that was there when it came to project work and it helped that I had been writing notes that I have I had you know I had been studying and attending class. So I, I organized I created that schedule for myself and it was in the first week. So I studied using my schedule. I would ask questions, I would attend those small groups, I would you know all those tips that had I have given you and then on the day on this uh, specific day dressed well, you have to be an official, so I dressed well and then I headed uh, over to to the kenya school of law and then i had to wait until evening and for some reason i had so much peace i had some peace i had so not some peace but so much peace that surpasses all human understanding <laughs> so then uh, i was the second last i went in for me i i met good panelists i did meet good panelists i was asked questions that i was able to answer i didn't pass any question and i feel like i answered every question satisfactorily now this is not the experience for everyone it's not the experience for everyone you may enter into a panel and you ask questions you don't know don't just keep uh struggling to answer those questions the advice that i got was if you're able to pass pass you only have 10 minutes to impress those panelists so you can't afford to waste them in a question that you don't know so pass but don't pass everything if you're able to attempt attempt um so i'm making an attempt but i think this and this and this showcase your knowledge of the law how you can analyze the law how you can be in a position to think on your feet so the experience is not the same for everyone but i know that uh, there's no one like there's no one like formula we have given new tips but there's no one formula so you may go in them and not have a good experience post that you don't need to um you will feel bad i don't want to say you don't you, you will feel bad of course you'll have nightmares about the wrong answers that you said but you really need to move forward because there's a bigger task awaiting for you the 60 marks for the bar exams and i will have a whole video on that uh <laughs> once my results are out obviously but um i'll have a whole video on that uh, regardless so uh what else what did i want to say um hmm. yeah and then just make sure you're composed don't be tense because when you're not composed you're not able to put that the point across if you're not composed then you may be asked questions and you don't understand them because you're not composed relax i mean it's never that serious it's serious but relax relax and know that god is in control god is in control and he who began the good work in you will see it to completion for sure you will so that's it if you have further questions on oral exams on your law school experience anything you can always comment down below i'll answer if it's a longer response head over to my email and email me at info email me and my email is info at jorogean.co.ke and i will always always answer maybe not immediately but i definitely always answer yeah so that will be it for this week's video i don't have i don't think there's a point that i have left so that will be it for this week's video i hope it was informative i hope you have learned a thing or two so see you next week on sunday at exactly 6 p.m and as always remember that god loves you a lot until next week <laughs>